Hi, and welcome to Theo and Olaf. My name is Eric, and in this video, I will be reviewing 15 types of different cat foods that you will find in pet stores like Petco and PetSmart. I will be reviewing each cat food in a uh, ranking of healthy versus unhealthy. And when I say healthy, I mean comparing like Chipotle to Taco Bell. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what you're actually feeding your cat. And also, these ingredients cross over into dog food. As mentioned in an earlier video, Irina and I serve Theo raw food, and you can watch that video here. Also, there's another video on the secrets of the pet food industry. You can also watch that video here. Now, throughout the video, you hear some repetitive ingredient names. So before I go any further, I want to make sure you know exactly what I'm talking about so you can follow along. A few of these ingredients may sound foreign to you, but really, they're actually quite common in everyday items that we buy and use, such as food, cosmetics, and everyday household items. So technically, cats are eating human food, or maybe humans are eating pet food. You be the judge. All right, and the first item we have here is, all right, we have meal mix, tender favorites with real turkey and giblets and sauce. The ingredients contain fish broth, tuna, tuna byproduct, chicken, turkey, poultry giblets, modified tapioca starch, wheat gluten, natural and artificial flavors. It also includes gargum, taurine, and carrageenan. While there is indeed turkey in this food, I am a bit concerned about the other ingredients such as the byproduct, the wheat, and the other meals and carrageenan and such, and it just seems like it's very unhealthy. So I'm gonna give this food an unhealthy rating. And the next food is, we have Rachel Ray's Nutrish Natural Food for Cats, and it's a chicken per cotta, and it's grain free. Okay. The ingredients include chicken, water, vegetable oil, powdered cellulose, tricalcium phosphate, salt, potassium chloride, guar gum, xanthan gum. It also includes carrageenan, cassia gum, and taurine. The fact that there's carrageenan in this food is the only reason why I'm giving this an automatic unhealthy rating. I can look past the other ingredients like xanthan gum and guar gum, but having a carcinogen in your food is unacceptable. All right, we have Nulo Metal Series. This is turkey and chicken recipe, and it's a grain-free pate. And the ingredients are turkey, chicken, turkey liver, turkey broth, tuna, natural flavor, guar gum, agar agar, potassium chloride, choline chloride. Also includes taurine and mixed tocopherols. There aren't too many things to be concerned about here. Overall, I would say this is a pretty healthy food choice for your cat. All right, next one. All right, we have Blue Wilderness Chicken Recipe, and it's also grain-free for adult cats. Ingredients include chicken, chicken broth, chicken liver, potatoes, natural flavor, flaxseed, guar gum, potassium chloride, carrageenan, and cassia gum. Also includes taurine. Now, just like Rachel Ray's food, I'm gonna give this an automatic unhealthy rating because of the carrageenan ingredients. Even though Blue promises a healthier meal, I can't get past the carrageenan. If it weren't for that, I probably would have given it a better rating. And also, Blue has been recalled many times in the past for their ingredients. All right, we have Instinct Original. This is the grain-free pate, and it's, the, and it's the duck recipe. 95% duck and turkey liver. So ingredients include duck, turkey liver, duck broth, ground flaxseed, and this is a mouthful here, Mount Morillonite clay, I probably butchered that word, peas, potassium chloride, carrots, salt, minerals, and choline chloride. It also includes taurine and mixed tocopherols. Now, in case you're wondering about that very long ingredient name, it's nothing to be concerned about. It's basically just an alternative um, for gar gum or xanthan gum. It's just for anti-caking. I don't see any concerning ingredients here, so I'm gonna give Instinct a healthy rating. All right, next one. Please. Thank you. We have Hill's Science Diet. This is a liver and chicken entree. It's a light food for adults. Ingredients include water, pork liver, pork byproducts, chicken, rice, wheat flour, powdered cellulose, cornstarch, corn gluten meal. Also includes dicalcium phosphate, gargum, carrageenan, and taurine. 
I don't even know where to begin with this food. Everything I mentioned is terrible for your cats. There's carcinogens, the wheat, there's byproduct, there's ingredients that shouldn't be like, eaten by an animal. So I would say do not buy this product. Also, one more thing. Veterinarians will typically recommend this food to your cat if they have a UTI or stomach issues. If this happens to you, they say use Hill's Science Diet, tell them no thanks, you'll find something a lot better and healthier for your cats. Okay, next one. All right, All right we have a different type of cat food here. It's not a can, it's more of a, um, what do they call this, a plastic, what do they call, what do they call this? <laughs> All right, well, whatever this is, it's what we're talking about next. This is the I Am's Perfect Portions Indoor Chicken Recipe for Cats, and it's grain free, and it's also premium cat food. So, ingredients include chicken broth, chicken, chicken liver, meat bread products, tapioca starch, dried egg product, dried plain beet pulp, glycine, fish oil, mixed to cough rolls. Also includes xanthan gum and taurine. I'm actually quite torn because IMS isn't really known for giving healthy food options for your cat, but for this particular food, I am going to give it a unhealthy and healthy rating because there are some good ingredients here, but I would urge you to use caution when buying this food. Okay, right, next please. All right, we have Purina Frisky's Tasty Treasure Pate with liver, with beef, <laughs> high in protein. 100% complete and balanced nutrition for adult cats. Okay, so this is for adult cats. Ingredients include water, liver, poultry byproducts, meat byproducts, beef, fish, soy flour, rice, artificial and natural flavors, guar gum. Also includes dicalcium phosphate, carrageenan, taurine. I think this food item speaks for itself. I don't really need to go through why it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy, period. All right, next please. We have, I can't even say this properly. I don't know if it's Royal Canon. It's not, or where is it? Royal Canin, but it's this one here for kittens. And it's loaf in sauce. Ingredients include water for processing, pork byproducts, chicken, chicken liver, pork liver, wheat gluten, powdered cellulose, pork plasma, brewer's rice flour, and gelatin. Also includes carrageenan, guar gum, mixed to cough rolls, taurine. In case you're wondering about that pork plasma ingredient, pork plasma is just pork blood, just more condensed into a jelly-like substance, and that creates texture for the cat food. Now, there are some ingredients here that I don't like, but of course, you might have heard it, carrageenan. Yes, that is an automatic, unhealthy rating. Also, the one thing I really don't like about this food is the fact that I have to peel back this label to see the ingredients. I feel like it's a bit sketchy. Um, it's not labeled there, and so I don't like that it's not shown. Next, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, next you have Fancy Feast Seafood Feast Classic Pate. It's 100% complete and balanced. All right, gourmet cat food. All right, ingredients include ocean fish, liver, meat byproducts, fish broth, artificial and natural flavors, shrimp, tricalcium phosphate, guar gum, and added color also includes taurine. I am giving this an unhealthy rating because there are a lot of additives and artificial flavors, and I just don't really agree with that. Thank you. We have Purina One Grain Free, and this is a beef recipe premium pate, all natural and moisture rich. And ingredients include beef, fish, beef broth, liver, pork lungs, natural flavors, and added color. Also includes taurine, dicalcium phosphate, and guar gum. Now this is kind of a tough one. I do realize the food includes dicalcium, which causes kidney stones, but the food does not include uh, meat byproducts, carrageenan, or any other ingredients that can may consider uh, be unhealthy for your cat. The pork lungs, uh, a little iffy there, so I'm gonna give this a unhealthy, but it's gonna be borderline between uh, healthy and unhealthy. It's like right there on the edge. Uh, next one, please. All right, we have Natural Balance Original Ultra Grain-Free Chicken Formula. Number one ingredient, chicken. Ingredients include chicken, chicken broth, chicken liver, canola oil, mixed to cough rolls, natural flavor, salmon oil, dicalcium phosphate, pea flour, and guar gum. 
also includes taurine and carrageenan. I would say, okay, this almost, almost made it into the healthy section, but because of that carrageenan ingredient, it is automatically unhealthy. Okay, next please. All right, we have the Raw's shredded tuna and salmon recipe. And this does not include guar gum, it says by on the label, so that's good to know. Irene and I actually used to give Theo this uh, when, he first got, when he first adopted him. Let's get into the ingredients. Tuna, fish broth, salmon, tapioca starch, minerals, sunflower oil, calcium chloride, fish oil, tricalcium phosphate, vitamins. Also includes taurine. Raz is meant to be an alternative for other cat food brands. It's somewhat healthier, but not as bad as what you'd be getting in other uh, products. So I am gonna give this a healthy rating. All right, we have Authority uh, Everyday Health Adult Pate, ages one through seven, and this is a catfish entree. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. It's good to know. And ingredients include salmon broth, catfish, animal liver, dried egg product, brewer's rice, guar gum, potassium chloride, salt, choline chloride, and vitamins. Also includes taurine. The only thing that concerns me here is the animal liver. Which animals are coming from? I don't know. So when you buy pet food for your pet, you wanna make sure you know exactly where the ingredient's coming from and which animal it's coming from. Overall, I'm gonna give authority a healthy rating. And the last one, please. All right, this is the final product I'll be talking about. And I really wanted to show this to you because whenever I go to PetSmart, I see this all the time. It has its own little kiosk. And I, I've, just, I've, I've been curious about it. I've been wanting to talk about it for a long time. So here we go. This is made by Nacho. And this is the beef recipe. Ingredients include organic beef, beef bone broth, chicken bone broth, beef liver, dried egg white, pumpkin, organic oats, cranberries, cane molasses, and natural flavor. Also includes mixed tocopherols, guar gum, and taurine. Now overall, the only thing that is a bit concerning is the mixed tocopherols. I don't like that, but it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna give this a healthy rating. Everything here seems pretty legit, and I would actually be okay giving my cat this product. Now, I understand that buying super healthy food for your pet is quite expensive. Just like human food, it's pricey and not everyone can afford it. When we, were, when we first adopted Theo, the shelter was giving him food like Friskies and Fancy Feast. So Irene and I made the choice to really invest into Theo's uh, health and well-being and give him some healthy options. But that may not be the case for you. You may just be trying to feed your cat so he or she can live a bit longer really and not go hungry. But if you are on a budget, I hope this food review will give you a better idea of what to give your cat. If you'd like me to review any other particular cat food or dog food, please let me know in the comments below. Also in the future, I'll be making a video on my favorite, or I guess Theo's favorite, uh, cat snacks. And if you like this video and its content, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for all things Theo and Olaf. Thanks for watching.